this is Andrew from Simu Apps, and in this tutorial we're going to look at deleting our own table view. I'm going to start off with an existing project I've got here. It's from my tutorial on how to create a UI table view. I'll place a link in the description to this tutorial, which will have the video and will have the source code if you follow that link in the description, so you can start off from where, where I am. So I'll just run the project just to show you what it does. So it's just a basic table view with some information. And what we're going to do to be able to delete it, you're going to have to be able to swipe left and this delete button's going to show up. But at the moment, if I try to swipe, nothing's happening. So to do that code, we just need to add in two functions to our table view. First one is can edit row at index path. So if we go table view, can edit row at index path, go return true. Basically, whatever this returns, if it returns true, it allows you to edit the row. If it returns false, you're not allowed to edit that row. So return, there we go, finally got return to. And the second function we need is the one that actually deletes data. So that's called commit editing style. So to do that, we'll go table view and this one here, commit editing style, and we want to check if it's the style is being deleted. So to do that, we go if editing style is equals to UI table view cell editing style dot delete. So this checks that we're deleting the the row. If so, we're gonna to code delete the row. So to do that we do table data. So table data stores all the data for our table view. Dot remove at index and to get the selected index we just do index path dot row. And once this is done we also need to update the table view to reflect that the row has been deleted. So to do that do self table view dot reload date data. So if we run that now, see our table view here, if we swipe left, we can see we've got delete one, so click click on that and that will delete our row. So I'll just delete this one here. There we go, our row deleted. This one here, row deleted. So you might want to make it so some rows can be deleted and others can't, or you might have a login for an application, you might want to have where some users can delete and others can't. So to be able to do that, what you would do, you'd return false or true based on if you want to let them delete that row. So you might say store that up here and go there. Can edit make it a bool equals true. And then you go return can edit. And you might change this to false so they can't edit it based on either what values are in there or based on user login or other variables and factors. So you can download the source code for this project below and leave any feedback in the comments. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and leave any feedback below. Also check out our website, Facebook and Twitter by clicking or tapping any of the buttons on screen.